Lenny and Larry. Is yeah. this real? Is this real, Lenny and Larry? Are you kidding me with this? 460 calories? This is basically a burrito. Lenny and Larry. Lenny and Larry. It should be like Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> well, we haven't done a food loadout load out video in a while. No, we a haven't. Super wide angle here. Yeah. Today, we are going through our, effectively, a five full day food loadout for our Colorado Trail. We're gonna go through each of the meals by each of us and kind of talk about some special considerations we've got for this trip because this trip is a little bit different than some other trips. Yes, it is. But first, like everything, follow everything, <laughs> download the damn podcast, click the bell, click the subscribe button. Get That's all I was going to say. Write us on iTunes, <laughs> <laughs> all, all this stuff. What do you want? Do you want to start with breakfast first? Well, let's talk about the trip first and okay. like what the, what the, what the caloric needs in general might okay. be on this one. It's a little different. And then also a little bit like where our mindsets are right now on food prepping. Yeah. So that brings up a good point. So we are going to Colorado literally next week. Um, by the time you are watching this, we will probably be on the trail. But this trip is a little bit different than some of the trips we've done in the past. Primarily the mileage is really high uh and that is for us, for for, us. Yeah. i think it's high in general yeah. um but just the way that the planning worked out with the parts of the trail we wanted to do and how to get cars in yeah. various places we had to do a we had to do and if we if we want to do some peak bagging yeah bag some peaks we had to do about 60 miles um in not five full days, four nights. I say four nights, five days, but you know, the yeah, day you like, hike in and the day you hike out are kind of like half to three quarter days. So right. we're doing 60 miles and we're also flying from Columbus, Ohio, straight to Denver. And then the next morning going straight up to 10,000 feet. So this is a little bit more technical uh, calorically than some of our trips. And then something I'll talk about a little bit is I am making a concerted effort this time to get more protein and maybe take out some carbs for some protein, but still these are all very carb heavy. Yeah, yeah. Um, still very carb heavy. You know, we're doing 15 miles a day. Uh, so a lot of protein and normally I don't care as much, but I was really thinking about like how many calories you burn and what your maintenance needs need to be. And we always do a really bad job of getting adequate protein and you're going to lose weight uh, hiking in general, but you really don't want that weight to be muscle if you don't, if it doesn't have to be. Uh, so one of the ways you can do that is just eat a lot of protein. And I've got some strategies here on how to, how to just get more protein in throughout the day because Protein, it's not like you can eat it all in one sitting. It doesn't work like that. So that's kind of any other consideration. That's another, that's another consideration. You've got a little low carby here. Yeah, I was just, other considerations for me are less sugar if possible. Although I blew it. There is, <laughs> I, I, I had to find a balance between enough calories and lower sugar as well. Yeah. But then also it's just like food weight in general. Like we have dehydrated lunches. Um, That's another good thing is we trying to keep the volume yeah. and the bulk as low as possible, just cause we're not doing a resupply obviously. And we're taking a bunch of stuff. One, of the, th one of the things that annoys me about our food setups right now, which I get called out for, and I actually agree with, is the amount of packaging and trash. It is, uh, it is terrible, and yeah. that's something I did not take into account with no, this trip. We've I, done it before. Yeah, I didn't either. Like, I did do a little bit of repackaging, but when you're talking about like all these like little packages of like drink additives, coffee, instant coffee bars it's like hard to get around it yeah there's just a lot of packaging and now you know i could repackage a bunch of stuff here before we go that wouldn't necessarily save weight it would save bulk and it would like maybe less a chance of accidentally like leaving trash behind when you didn't mean to you know like micro trash yeah 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 like, and we the last colorado trip when we packed seven days of food we kind of had to do some of that just because we didn't have enough volume we had to condense stuff and that mean meant packaging dinners together and that stuff i agree with that what we try and do uh, i don't know if this is like kosher to say but we, when we won't be doing it on this trip is we do burn a lot of our trash um not in colorado not in colorado we're not gonna have any fires so uh the good thing though i forgot about the colorado trail is there's typically trash 
trash dumps at the the terminuses. Yeah, we might get lucky. So we might get lucky. But anyway, do you want to you want to start with like breakfast and coffee? Yeah. Our sure. breakfasts are very similar. Yeah. And yeah, breakfast for me every single day is going to be Mountain House biscuits and gravy. Right there. Yeah. Everybody knows we love it. So It is um it's the best breakfast. So what I'm doing uh once again, strategy, try and get some more protein in there is two of my breakfasts are biscuits and gravy. The other two, Andy's favorite, and you know how hard it is to find oatmeal that has like not a lot of sugar in it? It's so hard. So I got some plain oatmeal, and then I added about a half a scoop of peanut butter, or not peanut butter, of banana protein powder to it. That's a really good idea. Yeah, so you know, just so like the, the whole meal is probably like 20 to 25 grams of protein, maybe. So just, I'm just, you're gonna see this throughout my meals here. I'm just trying to sneak protein in uh, whenever I can. I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to hit at least 100 grams of protein a day um more would be better to be quite frank but it's just not feasible to be crushing protein bars like five times a day so anyway um got the oatmeal the dino egg oatmeal from quaker oats uh it was low in sugar it's got little baked dinosaur eggs in it <laughs> i'm sure those are full of sugar and then i added about a half a scoop which is about why, do, why wouldn't you just buy like steel cut oats or something like that? i thought about it um and then i just didn't okay <laughs> All right. Well, it's not hard to find. <laughs> These were sugar. already in the yeah. grocery in the in the in the grocery cart. So yeah, <laughs> okay. I should have just bought a big thing of steel cut oats. But yeah, uh, so breakfast is definitely the most boring meal for us. You want to hit on coffee next? Yeah. So uh, I, I I will I will stand by this. Out of all the different instant coffees that I've tasted over the years, everything from cheap to really expensive stuff, I will say this statement: the Black Rifle instant coffee is by far the best. Yeah, and Andy got me some, so I'm taking the Black Rifle Instant. I'm also taking, you can see it in this bag, I uh, which Andy hates. Uh, I've got some instant caramel flavored cappuccino mix that I use as creamer. So it's like a really sugary cappuccino mix that's caramel flavored. And I just put a little bit in my coffee. So uh, we budget about we budget two cups of coffee a yep. day. So that's ten packets of coffee, and then I bring um, I'm gonna bring some caramel flavored cappuccino. Okay. And I also got two flavors of Mio. Where, do you have Mio? No, I just have some uh, Gatorade Zero. Use mine. So I always bring two Mios. I bring one caffeinated and one non-caffeinated. You want to move on to lunches and snacks? Yeah, well, I think one thing to note too is that for I, I do this on other trips. For my lunches, I reuse my bag for breakfast and I cold soak. Every day I'm going to be cold soaking. I, I made. I, I should have. I should do that. That's one way to eliminate the bags we've got. I forgot you do that. Yeah, I. Uh, I should do that. I dehydrated a bunch of uh, buffalo chicken, and so my lunch every single day will be a massive buffalo chicken wrap, and then I have uh, individually packaged baby bell cheese. I'll put on there. I've got hot sauce as part of the lunch too, and I'll be cold soaking that. Um, from the morning until lunch. It's pretty standard in the same bag. And then I saves some bags. I mean, yeah, I need, I forgot you do that. That's a good, that's a good call. Although I don't know if I want to mix beef and bean burrito mix with the uh, banana flavored oatmeal, but maybe you'll get some yeah. fusion flavors. Yeah. So lunch, um, I'm doing, I do something a little differently for lunch. I started doing this probably like a year or two ago. I don't bring like lunches. I just bring a bunch of food to snack on throughout yeah. the course of the day. And if we stop, I'll eat some more of it. So what I've got is a bunch of different, once again, keeping the protein high, um, a bunch of different tuna and chicken packets. That's one thing I did not want to eat like seven or eight packets, uh, packets of tuna. So I got some of the, the chicken. So I think I have six packets, a uh, three and three tuna and chicken. I also have some dehydrated beef and bean burrito mix. I don't I don't have tortillas or anything. I did do a decent amount of dehydrating for this trip. I have three different types of trail mix. I have the hardwood smoked sausages. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I also bring in a pepperoni log and a block of Gouda cheese. Those aren't necessarily lunches. Sometimes that gets thrown in with the dinner. But yeah, I, I don't bring like lunches. Um, when we stop, basically what I'll do is um, I'll probably cold soak the beef and bean burrito mix. I don't have these for every day, but I'll probably like spoon out some of that or mix some of the chicken or the um, tuna in with it and then just snack on the trail mix. And then these usually get passed around too. 
Um, so I, I do, I kind of like call it like an ad hoc lunches. Like I, I used to bring like more doing what Andy's doing where I have a tortilla every day with stuff to go in it every day. And I just don't do that anymore. I like the freedom of being able to just snack on stuff. And then also what that allows you to do is like we do sometimes we like, sometimes we just won't stop for lunch, like stop, stop. Uh, we'll just like snack really fast. And when you have a lunch set up, that's promote pr like primarily composed of snacks. It's easier to do that. Yeah. I'm surprised. I haven't seen you eat a tortilla in five years. I wasn't crazy about the tortillas to be honest, but, um, actually the reason I got gr the only reason I got the tortillas is I needed more calories. And then additionally, like I, I've got a bunch of, um, I've got some beef jerky and beef sticks as well. Just like Kevin does. Um, I have a protein bar, um, that I can either eat with breakfast or eat it up until lunch. And then, um, I've also got, I, by the way, I would never eat these. <laughs> these things are hilarious. Yeah. I've had these before, but I would two bucks. It's not bad. Yeah. They were on sale. That's why I got this. I got the Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. I've known about these for a it's, long it's time. Five, it's 500 calories. Yeah. It's 500 calories. Um, and it's 500 calories again you you need to and it's got a ton of sugar in it too um but it's these are the protein ones they've got 16 grams of grams of uh protein so total per day right now i i did some rough measurements i'm about 100 grams of protein um and how and many and how many calories uh, uh slightly over 2,000 calories which is not enough it's a deficit. in my opinion yeah it's um, a deficit so i'm sure andy will be eating some of this food uh, um yeah and then um between the beef jerky, the 500 calorie cookie, and the protein bar, and then I've also got some peanut butter as well, some Justin's peanut butter packets, which I just, you know, are really nice quick pick-me-ups. Yeah, I think that covers like uh, breakfast, lunch, and snacks. I'm probably gonna grab, uh, I might grab a couple of Snickers bars as well. Like, That's a good I'm, idea. Like it's just like I'm really like Snickers don't have like hardly any protein in them. It's a lot like, of sugar. It, it's just it's sugar. A lot of sugar. And I've got plenty of sugar here, so like yeah. But I don't want to keep pumping like protein bars. <laughs> I know. So if bars for me, I have the same strategy as Andy. Uh, a bunch of protein bars up here, and then I just had some old Cliff bars laying around. So basically, I budget like Andy, one to two bars a day uh, on top of all this stuff. Just get in get in protein and calories when you can. And then also, I, I kind of glossed over it, but I am bringing the hot sauces back. Yeah. I bring two usually. I try to, sometimes I have a green one, but I didn't have any. So I'm bringing Frank's Red Hot and Sriracha, which is always good to just throw a little heartburn on top for the yeah. day. I was going to bring hot sauce too, but Kevin's got those. So no, I think this should be more than enough for us. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, so lunch lunches are kind of like for both of us kind of freestyle. Yeah. Um, you got some protein, you know, trail mix, dehydrated meats, burrito mix bars, just kind of, and like the way these trips work, like when you're really crushing miles for us, you know, 15 plus miles in the Rockies, you know, covering, you know, three, four, 5,000 feet of climbing a day. That's a lot for us. And you just have to kind of, it's kind of like running. You just have to constantly kind of be eating like every one to two hours. You, it helps to eat something. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of the strategy here. And then just keep protein high. The last thing we have are the dinners. Yeah. I, um, the dinners are, I got, I got some fun things. Yeah. I wanted to do just kind of like, uh, some stuff that I've never tried before. Um, I've got a peak refuel sweet pork and rice, which is the one that everybody says is the best one. I bought that one. Those things are, that's like 850 calories, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And then I got, um, uh, I saw these at REI a long time ago, trail topia, chili Mac with beef. How many calories? Uh, not enough. 340. So that's like an appetizer. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got a beef stroganoff and then I've got, um, two big meals of lasagna. So we're going to have the stroganoff off because I brought the backpacker pantry beef stroganoff. Dang, we should have had somebody grab the peak refuel one. Oh, the everyone. What? Why? How did they become such a popular backpacking meal? I don't know. It's, it's so good. It's so satisfying on the trail. This like creamy noodles. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's like white sauce base. So uh, for my dinners, I didn't realize Andy had this. I, I bought a, a can of the uh, Mountain House lasagna with meat sauce, which is really good. So one dinner will be that. Uh, like I said, I got the backpacker pantry version of the beef stroganoff. 
Um, and then the other two are like my homemade ones. So I did dehydrate a big thing of Chili Mac. So I thought we have a, a we have a video on that actually. Yeah. One of yours from 2017 that I watched. Yeah, and then this is the buffalo chicken. So. I thought that is so much buffalo chicken. Yeah. How many cans true. of chicken in that? Is that? Uh, that was two cans of chicken. Like two of the big cans? Uh, the Costco cans. They're like this big. So that's like two pounds of chicken. Two, three pounds of chicken, right? I don't, I, no, I don't think a can's a pound. It's a lot of salt. Uh, not as much as you would think, actually. And surprisingly, not to go on rants about like low carb, low sugar, but just like straight up buffalo sauce isn't that bad for you. No, it's not. It's not. A lot of sodium, but it's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, and then my fourth, I'm doing this for the first time. Uh, I have, I've obviously done Easy Mac many times, but this is just three packages of Easy Mac, but no filler. Like usually I do two packets of Easy Mac and then throw in some buffalo chicken or throw in some beef and bean burrito, but I'm just going straight Easy Mac. Oh, you can. Oh yeah, I'll probably put some on there. So Easy Mac, uh, I dehydrated some Chili Mac, a lot of Max. All pot. These are all pasta based things. I know. Dinners are always pasta based. It's 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 BS. Well, it's it's a it's it's caloric it's like calories. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the backpacker pantry beef stroganoff and the mountain house um, lasagna. So I did try and do, I did like I dehydrated chili mac and the beef and bean burritos the other day. So like most of our trips, you know, Andy's got two. It's always a mixture of some food we buy and there will some be food some we, bartering. And oh, oh, prison style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you think that some. hot sauce is free? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. We'll see what Bryce will trade for this cookie. That's a lot of calories. I know. So, yeah, that's kind of the, the overall goal. And, you know, we, 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 sometimes we get super technical with food, but this trip is a little bit more tech, technical. Like, we're just trying to keep protein as high as possible, trying to keep sugar as low as possible, and trying to just eat cleaner it's tough to do none yeah. of this stuff is really clean These to be honest with you not but i mean in the past like when we first started backpacking we would just go to the store and buy a bunch of crap and eat it uh without any considering of like are we getting the macronutrient needs we need to get and now we're like we're really trying to be better at that it just helps like when you got to wake up the next day and do another 15 to 20 miles if you're getting adequate protein and carbs and fat and stuff you're gonna feel a lot better and be able to do that so that that's it, right? No, I think something else is worth. Oh knowing. yeah, I need to bring some of that real quick. Um, I've got a, a 200 calorie packet of Tailwind caffeinated tr uh, Tailwind, and this is basically just sugar and salt. And then I've got and Tailwind's I've, fantastic. Yeah, and then I've got a liquid IV as well. I'm not crazy about the liquid IV, but the Tailwind's fantastic. But uh, these I'm only bringing for emergency purposes because. Uh, Last time we were on the Colorado Trail, somebody was struggling with hydration and being dehydrated, and I gave him I gave him a, a two hundred calorie oh, I gave him a two hundred calorie packet of Tailwind, and that saved him. So like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that. I have a bulk thing of Tailwind for yeah. running, and Tailwind, if you're not familiar with it, it's really good. It's literally just salt and sugar, but it's mm -hmm. not overly sweet, and it's formulated in a, in a right blend that it. it it just it doesn't taste super sweet, which I like. It's it do, it's not a gut bomb either. No, it's not a gut bomb. So I'm gonna probably put some tailwind in too for that. So yeah, that's it. You know, two or three thousand calories a day, a hundred to one hundred fifty grams of protein. I didn't really like think about fat or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I need to grab. Honestly, I don't probably have enough fat. I got the cheese and the pepperoni log. I'm gonna grab and some, the and the nuts. I'm gonna grab some nuts. I, um, I, I probably need to add like two to 300 more calories per day. Yeah. When Andy was laying out the suit, I was like, man, that's, that's not enough. 60 yeah, miles. And then, and, then, and then I looked at the cookie and was like, okay, that's 2000. That's 2,500 calories and just freaking cookies. So maybe I know <laughs> do you like people, I'm going to go on a cookie rant here. Like they're like, Oh, 16 grams of protein and like vegan and like plant-based. It's like, it's healthy. And it's like, 25 grams of sugar and like <laughs> i'm enjoying a cookie rant i know i haven't heard a cookie no, rant uh, before okay here's a here's a good rant i was listening to this dietitian no, i i don't really subscribe to this stuff but they were talking about these particular cookies the non-protein ones yeah and it's just like have a donut instead I, we, we, I was like those little like uh honey yeah. bun yeah that you at the gas station that's basically what that is no it, uh, hey so, it's plant-based yeah well right but i mean these, <laughs> must be good for you these ones particularly went out because it's got 16 grams of protein but they're regular they have ones without protein and they're and like people so they're donuts yeah people are like oh it's plant-based it's vegan it's healthy it's a clean cookie and it's just like no it's got like five to six hundred calories in it and tons of sugar it's yeah like, just have a donut yep 
That'd be cool. We, uh, does anyone make any backpacking donuts? I don't know. That'd be cool. Kind of be cool. And rant. All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, we're excited to get on the trail. Uh, we love we love food. So um, hopefully that gives you some insight and helps you with your own food packing considerations. And we'll see you on the trail. Yep.